The following structure will explain you how to make negative sentences in the present tense. As we see in the structure, who, it represents subject. Then after we can use do not or does not according to the subject. And after that we have to use the main verb in the base form. After that you can add information about where or what, then full stop. And it will be a complete sentence. Let us see some examples and it will be very clear to you how to make negative sentences in the present tense. Here are some examples. The first one you can see, I do not live in Abha. Here we find the subject I, it is a first person singular number. So to make negative sentence we have to use do not in front of the base form of the verb. And here is also information about where we can find in Abha. I do not live in Abha. In the second sentence we see he does not work in the police. The subject who we can find the answer he and then we have to use as it is the third person singular number subject so we have to use do not in front of the base form of the verb work. Then after we can find the information about where in the police. He does not work in the police. In the third sentence we can find the subject Ali and Ahmed. They are plural subject so we have to use do not in front of the main verb study. It is the base form of the verb and for the answer of what we can find English every day. Ali and Ahmed do not study English every day. These are all negative sentences using do not or does not in the present tense. Activity 5. This activity will show you how to make negative sentences. Here are some sentences and we are going to make them negative. Number 1. He speaks English very well. This is a statement and we are going to make the sentence negative using this way. He does not speak English very well. Here does not is for the subject he as it is third person singular number. Then the verb is in the base form speak. When we have to use the third person singular number we write speaks. But when we make negative then we have to put the base form of the verb. It is just like speak. In the second sentence, they live in Jiddah. The subject is plural and we don't have to add S or ES here. So when we make negative, simply we add do not in front of the main verb or the base form of the verb, leave. They do not live in Jiddah. In the third sentence, we can find we like to watch movies. It is a statement and when we are going to make it negative, it will be like this. We do not like to watch movies. The subject here is we, the third person plural number and we used do not to make it negative. And after that the verb here is just like the base form of the verb like. Number four. They help each other. Here the subject is they, third person plural number. So the verb is help without any addition of s, e, s or IES. Nothing is added here. So when we make negative we have to put do not in front of the base form of the verb help. They do not help each other. Sentence number five. The baby cries for food. In this sentence we find the baby is the third person singular number. So the verb here is cries. The main verb is cry but when it is used with the third person singular number the baby then we have to change it like this cries we remove y and in place of y we write ies the baby cries for food that's why when we make it negative we have to be careful after the baby we use do not but the main verb should be in the base form cry it was cries in the statement but when we are making negative it will be cry. The baby does not cry for food. Joining two sentences using AND. Put AND to connect two simple sentences with similar ideas. The sentences can be positive or negative. We do not usually begin sentences with AND. This structure will show you how to connect two simple sentences with AND. In between two simple sentences we have to put and as a conjunction. 
Here is an example. Number A. My brother is a clerk. He works in a bank. These two sentences have the similar idea. And the answer is, my brother is a clerk and he works in a bank. Both the simple sentences are added here with the conjunction and. B. Ali is single. He lives with his parents. Both the sentences are with the similar ideas. And the answer is, Ali is single and he lives with his parents. These two simple sentences are connected with and as a conjunction. Activity 6. Join the sentences using and. He studies every day. He gets good marks in the exam. If we want to add these two simple sentences and it will be very simple because these two sentences have the similar idea. He studies every day. We write the full sentence. Then we write and and then we write this full sentence. He studies every day and he gets good marks in the exam. Number 2. Ali is single. He lives with his parents. We already discussed about this sentence in our discussion. So again, when we have to add this sentence, we write the first sentence and then we put and and then we write the second sentence full. Ali is single and he lives with his parents. Number 3. He is Ahmed. He is 20 years old. In this sentence again, he is Ahmed, he is 20 years old, have the similar idea and we just put and in between. He is Ahmed and he is 20 years old. She is married. She has two children. Both the sentences have the similar idea and we just add and in between. She is married and she has two children. They are friends. They help each other. Both the statements have the similar idea again and we put and in between and we can join the sentence this way. They are friends and they help each other. They are students. They study in a university. Again these two sentences have the similar idea and we put and in between. They are students and they study in a university. But remember when we finish the full sentence like this and then we have to put full stop here every time for every sentence because it is a complete sentence after joining with and.